Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus potassium sulfate. So you might see this lead to acetate written like this here. It's the same thing. We have the acetate ion here. This is just another way to write the acetate ion. So you may see that written differently. Let's just go with the one here in the equation since they're equivalent. The first thing we want to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. So I have acetate ion here. I have two of them, but only one over here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the potassium acetate. Now I have two potassium atoms. That's okay. I have two here. I have a sulfate here and here, lead, lead. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with the acetate ion are very soluble and compounds with potassium, they're soluble as well. So all of those are going to be aqueous. In general, compounds with sulfate ions are soluble as well, except for lead to sulfate. That's one of the exceptions. So we're going to write this as a solid here. It's a precipitate. When these two react, this falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. So we split everything apart into its ions, except this lead to sulfate here because it's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants, I have these two acetate ions here. And again, I have two acetate ions in the products. These are spectator ions. We're going to cross these out. Two potassium ions in the reactants and again in the products. Spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus potassium sulfate. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. You can see charges balance. We have two plus and two minus. That gives us a net charge of zero. This lead to sulfate, it's a neutral compound net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for PbC2H3O22 plus K2SO4 lead to acetate plus potassium sulfate. Thanks for watching.